हेलो गाइस आई एम उज्ज्वल कुमार एंड वेलकम टू द जियोने ड्रीम डी वन रिव्यू आई विल बी डूइंग अ फुल रिव्यू ऑफ द जियोने ड्रीम डी वन व्हिच इज़ द फ्लैगशिप डिवाइस ऑफ जियोने इन इंडिया राइट नाउ इट कम्स विद सम प्रेटी इम्प्रेसिव स्पेक्ट्स एंड वी विल सी हाउ इट परफॉर्म्स इन रियल लाइफ आई हैव बिन यूजिंग दिस डिवाइस सिंस वन वीक्स नाउ and let's see what it holds for you so let's talk about jioni for a second so jioni is a pretty big company from china they are renowned for mobile manufacturers who run their own r&d research and development units and manufacture their own hardware instead of just rebranding and selling okay so let's move on to the specs of this phone let's keep this phone for a side at the moment and we will see the specs so this phone runs on a quad uh, this phone is actually powered by a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor which is based on a7 chipset chip this processor is a mediatek uh, mediatek mt6589 chipset processor okay and it comes with uh, 1 gb of ram 4 gb of internal storage and talking about the battery it contains 2100 mah of uh, battery and the rear side on and the rear camera this one is of 8 megapixel and the front camera is of 1 megapixel and that's about it you can expand the storage up to 32 gbs so let's take a look at the physical aspects of this device so on the front of this device you will see no physical buttons just the this earpiece this 1 megapixel front facing camera there is a led light here and the ambient sensor and proximity sensors are here nothing uh, apart from these things in the front panel the volume rocker is on the right side of the device nothing else on the left side of the device you will fi find the power and unlock and lock button on the back side you will see the camera 8 megapixel camera with led flash the speaker grill is below the device sound quality is good the battery lies behind this uh, back panel the battery is non -re non removable you can put uh, standard sims in here and here is the micro sd card slot jioni gives a 16 gb sd card with this device free which uh, it uh, comes right into the device let's close the back panel now okay so let's move on to the software part of this device so this device is powered by android 4.1.2 jelly bean as you can see uh this is a very i mean this is the successor of ice cream sandwich the android version 4.2 is also known as jelly bean but this is the predecessor of 4.2 okay so let's move on to the interface this device uses a custom interface i am not really using the custom interface right now uh, the custom launcher from jioni is this personally i feel this launcher is not good i'll tell you why this launcher actually lags very much you can see going from the home screen to the app drawer you can see the lag so i decided to use the nova launcher on this device itself which is much more smoother and better and gives me more customization options so let's talk about the phone dialer this comes with a this is not the stock uh, jellybean dialer 
Gioni has modified this dialer to suit their own skin and you can dial numbers easily pretty much easy you can while dialing you can save a new contact you can save the number to an existing contact or you can send a message to the number you are typing okay so that was it about in the launcher let's take a look at the messaging app this is not the stock android messaging app you can just select and delete stuff from here standard set of features create a new message put the number here nothing special just standard messaging features okay so let's take a look at the keyboard i am using swift key right now but i will just switch to the stock keyboard this is the stock AOSP key, uh, keyboard that comes with stock Android. Nothing special about it. Uh, it also gives you offline speech recognition and stuff like that. Let's take a look at the speech recognition features. This is a test. So you can see that uh, it is actually able to recognize what I say and then type. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the offline speech recognition features. I'll put this phone to airplane mode and then test this. Okay, so the phone is in airplane mode now. This is a test. so it messed up with the word test anyways works great the keyboard works great but I like the swift key keyboard and that is why I was using it so okay so let's take a look at one of the most anticipated features of Jelly Bean that is the Google now let me just turn off the airplane mode and get back to 3G so what Google now does is it it collects data from your Google account and uh, like uh, some more data like while you travel places it collects data from there it will show weather information traffic information public transport information and uh, but right now this card shows is showing that my friend Ron his birthday is today let's try to ask Google now the weather outside what's the weather outside it's 33 degrees with light rain in sector 21a Noida Uttar Pradesh okay so pretty accurate about the location define Babel A piece of furniture with a flat top and one or more legs, providing a level surface on which objects may be placed. Who is the president of Tunisia? The president of Tunisia is Monsef Marzouki. So works pretty well. I love Google now. And uh, works as you expect it to work. Let's move on to the theme changer that this phone comes with okay let me find here is the theme changer so you have a set of themes that Gioni puts uh, uh, like provides you in the OS itself you can choose any of those and apply on the device itself this will change everything on the device like uh, if I choose this one and apply this it will change the whole look of the device including wallpapers effects but only in the stock launcher let me switch to stock launcher that comes with the device you can see it has been changed let's take a look at the lock screen also the lock screen has been changed as well as you can see 
so right now I'm not comfortable with this launcher so I'll just switch to Nova okay so let's take a look at the stock apps that the this phone has to provide you get the standard camera app the change app that lets you change the theme all papers or the effects the clock app the compass app the contacts app yahoo cricket app many more app like the launcher theme changer and stuff okay so let's now let's take a look at the storage info on this phone so you get around 2 gbs of usable storage on this phone and then the out of the 16 gb sd card you can actually use 14.72 gbs of the sd card okay and let's move on okay so this phone also supports ota updates feature that lets you uh, update the firmware of this phone over the air you can just go to the settings go to the about phone and you can just choose this system updates and it will just you can check the new version I'm checking the new version right now and it is all it is already running the latest version and there's no update from Gioni right now so whenever there will be any update you will be notified using this app itself and uh, let's talk about the battery life of this phone I am quite happy with the I am really happy with the battery performance you can see that I am I use the phone for many things like gaming and stuff voice calls and it has been online since 19 hours 36 minutes and still it has 22 percent of battery juice left so that is pretty good so now let's move on to the benchmarks i will not run the benchmarks right now i'll just show you the results so here are the nina mark 2 results that is 39.2 fps and this uh, phone is actually running the power vr sgx 544 mp gpu i'm happy with the gaming performance and let's take a look at the hand to do and quadrant results you can see that the device scored a total of 12575 in quadrant uh, sorry in and to do and in quadrant it uh, scored a score of 36680 uh, th pretty good performance no the specs are not mine i mean these specs actually come inside the geoni sd card itself they also give you some videos in the sd card itself okay let's run some games and see how it runs let's run the subway surfers first this is one of my favorite android games i really like it takes a while to load i have turned off the music and some other SF sfx runs really smooth the quad core cpu is able to handle these arcade games very easily really happy with the performance let's try to run the temple run 2 which is a graphic intensive game and I'll, i'm running this game on the highest graphic settings and we will see how this device performs so this game is running on the highest graphic settings and still it is able to manage the game pretty well runs really smooth really happy with the performance this is a great gaming device 
so let's move on to the dead trigger game which is a demanding game needs some high end specifications to run the screen is really gorgeous guys sorry if I, I forgot to tell you the screen is actually super amoled and the black levels are really deep I'm really happy with the performance let's accept the channel challenge takes a while to load the screen is really beautiful I'm really happy with the screen And thanks for watching this videos guys no it it isn't the end of the video i really appreciate your support this is my first review video handles game pretty well no lag whatsoever i can just move around shoot zombies I'm not facing any type of lag or something pretty good performance I'm happy with the gaming performance so let's move on to the multimedia features of this phone let's try to play a 1080p video here is a sample 1080p video I'll start over runs the video pretty well I'll show you the properties as you can see this is a 1080p video handles the video pretty well really happy with the performance I've, okay so let's take a look at the video that I've shot from this camera camera of this Geoni Train D1 this is a 1080p, the 1080p video as well handles pretty well and recorded in a very nice quality really happy with the video capturing capabilities of this phone autofocus is very good okay about the music capabilities of this phone I was not happy at all I mean the music sounds great on this on the speakers but I have some complaints with these set of earphones that Xiaomi has provided these are not these are just standard earphones not really for music lovers you will have to find something good if you are really uh, I mean if you are really keen to listen to music and use it as a multimedia phone other than that a gaming device the speaker is pretty good the music comes inside the SD card itself this is the power amp music player Okay, so that is all. Okay, so this was one con I found in this phone that the music performance with these headphones is not really that great. It could have been better, and uh, an in ear style headphones would have been better instead of these standard headphones. Okay, so that was all about the device let's tell you what you get inside the box i mean the box of this device this is the box of this device let's take a look at the contents this is the charger standard charger you have to use this usb cable to charge this device you get these two back covers from the company itself really strong happy with them 
this is a protective film screen screen protector you can say that you can apply on this device some general documentation from Gioni here a user guide and this is a huge list of service centers that Gioni provides across India and that is all you get in the box and thank you guys for watching this video this is this was my first review video of I've ever done of any hardware or any phone I hope you will subscribe to my channel please click the subscribe button below and also if you like this video please click that like button leave your comments below and tell me how I can improve my videos 